Hello my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, this is going to be sort of an unboxing video without the boxes. Um, basically I've gotten like a whole bunch of individual comics in the mail and it would have just been a nightmare to just individually <laughs> open up all those boxes. So I wanted to show you what I got. Uh, there's some really cool golden age stuff like some Archies and some other like uh, there's a Soti book and there's a bunch of other cool things. Um, and I kind of want to preference this video with explaining that I've been collecting a lot of good girl art and one of the artists that's sort of um, very famous for good girl art is an artist named uh, Bill Ward. And Bill Ward, he is noted for creating the character Tor Torchy, who I'm getting later in the mail. I'm hoping that that's going to come in the next month. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. Um, she's kind of a cool character of this blonde who just has these powers uh, powers of seduction and can basically, you know, get men to do whatever they want, uh, whatever she wants them to do. And it's, it's, she's kind of a cool character. Um, now with that in mind, I got, uh, sort of a collection or anthology of, um, Bill Ward's work. And this is WoW, uh, which is... World of Ward, <laughs> and it, it features like uh, I think this is more of the sexy version of uh, one of his characters, uh, and you see up in the corner. I'm not sure if you can see that. That's Torchy up there. That's when she was sort of dressed in sort of this uh, uh, Spanish uh, Spanish kind of costume, I should say. Um, so yeah, he he did a lot of adult cartoons as well. It's kind of fun uh, stuff, <laughs> very interesting stuff. A lot of uh, very interesting uh, uh, artwork in those. Um, so in that genre of more of the adult or more risque stuff, um, I, as I said, I'm collecting Bill Ward's work, and uh, there was he was sort of published in this 1980s uh, adult magazine. Uh, it has like nudity and stuff. <laughs> Um, but it features a lot of his artwork, and that's why I picked it up. So this is his artwork in the corner here, and I just really like his uh, his style. I think it's kind of cool. So uh, a lot of good girl art, sort of seduc seduction stuff. And then I got some more Golden Age uh, good girl art, and one of the famous titles is Tessie the Typist. This one is really beaten up, not in a high grade at all. It's barely, probably a one or one five uh, so it's very low grade <laughs> but it you know the cover presents well so um just another good girl art style comic um with that in mind uh the good girl art um one of the more famous artists as well it was not just bill ward but um was another artist al uh felstein and I mentioned his name many times in other videos, especially when I talk about the seduction of the innocent, because a lot of his <laughs> artwork basically um, got flagged by the seduction of the innocent as something that was corrupting young minds. And often it was for uh, what was called headlight covers. Now, this is not a headlight cover, I don't think, uh, but it is um, one called uh, My Life. And this is the one of the ones that was mentioned in the seduction of the innocent. It's associated with um, with Archer, a uh, uh, Colise Archer, uh, Col Colise at Archer, I should say, and um, it's like the fourth book in her series. It, it, it was its own title, My Life, uh, stories, true stories and pictures. Now, this is not his artwork, believe it or not. This is not Alfie Felstein's artwork. But it is one that was mentioned in the seduction and isn't related to the headlights. Uh, the fact that the girls in the comic are kind of like, you know, sexualized. <laughs> and that was teaching kids, you know, to think of women in purely a sexual manner. And that was something that was a big no-no <laughs> uh, for uh, comics. So, um, that was that was the reason why that was featured in the, in the seduction and isn't. Now... One of the things I really, really like is Disney comics. And I, I, I've explained in many of my videos how I grew up basically collecting Disney comics because that's all my parents would let me collect. Um, so in a way, uh, I like to uh, maybe rebel against that childhood experience. And I like controversial comics, especially related to Disney. I think it's the coolest thing to get like a, con a controversial comic 
that's related to Disney. Uh, I just think it's cool. And one of the big controversial ones, and a story that I actually really like, and it shouldn't have any controversy around it, is The Song of the South. And it was a movie, a movie I really loved. I actually loved the movie when I was a kid. Uh, it had like zippity doo da and all these great uh, themes in it. And it had this sort of wise um, black man uh, and he lived in a cabin <laughs> and he would basically teach the kids stories and, and he would, you know, tell them stories about uh, Br'er Rabbit and uh, this is Br'er Rabbit's first appearance and the, and the Song of the South first appearance in comics. And uh, Disney basically tried to ignore that part of history because the old man in the, in the, in the movie was a former slave and anything related to slavery they basically are trying to almost completely remove from history <laughs> so um it's kind of messed up great story but you know it's one of those ones where they won't even release the movie anymore and there's if you go to disney world there's actually a ride which is themed off of uh Bra rabbit and it's uh thunder mountain and it's one of my it was actually my favorite roller coaster when i was growing up and, you know, I just, I always loved this character. I thought he was a great character. He was always tricking the, the silly bear and, and the fox. And uh, it was just a really great character. And this is his first appearance. So I really was happy to get this book. Really hard book to find. <laughs> and this is in fairly good grade, actually. I'd say it's like a four or four or five. So yeah, I was just really happy to get this. So that's story behind that one. Now, what happened was I actually bought um, the the My Life book, My Life number four. Uh, and what I what happened was I overpaid for shipping. <laughs> I just uh, the, like it was just the way the, the deal worked. So the guy was saying, like, I can't he couldn't refund my shipping. He wouldn't refund my shipping, but he threw in some Archie books just to balance it out. So um, which I thought was nice. And these are all like sort of older Archie books, like Silver Age. And so we got Archie Laugh, like uh, number 182. Kind of an interesting one. Not a high grade or anything. It's a pretty rough grade. But yeah, so that's kind of a cool one. And then we have uh, maybe a Golden Age, Laugh 76. Another kind of cool one. I, I like these kind of like, you know, uh, seductive or kind of semi semi interest uh, um you know innocent but you know not so innocent covers so you know she's showing him sort of you know sexy eyes and stuff it's kind of cool <laughs> so and then um the last one was archie's fun book a joke book i should say uh and this is another probably i think it's golden age i'm pretty sure early 50s probably uh night it's number 56 so it's like with jughead so yeah, so these are all um, ones that I received and um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video without the boxes and uh, just showing you some of the stuff that I picked up. Um, the, the Archer book is really a hard one to find, uh, The My Life number four, very hard book to find. Uh, I'll show you that again. And so is the Song of the South one, just really incredibly hard to find. So I was looking for this for a while. I want it at a fairly good price. Normally this grade would go for about three, four hundred. I got it for one fifty. So I was quite quite happy to get it. Um, just a really great book. So um, quite happy to get that. So if you enjoy these uh, videos and enjoy this content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and um, also, I'll be doing a bunch of series, uh, new series coming up in the next few videos, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll try to not only do unboxing videos, uh, I like to mix it up a bit. So uh, please stay tuned to that. Remember to hit the bell notification so you get those updates. And thanks for watching. Bye.